Hello everybody and welcome back to my modelling tutorials. It's a sad, sad day where I say that this is most likely going to be the last video of this series. Obviously that doesn't mean that the series is over or my modelling tutorials are going to be over. Just the modelling tutorials in regards to making a simple house or building and getting it in done in 3ds Max may well be over. I will be continuing on showing how, vid how they can be textured and moved into game however that will be in a separate series with a more basic building this building here I may well uh, pop in uh, somewhere like Dropbox so you guys can download it if you wish and use it uh, you know to how you want so what I want to do today is just to finish up with this you know what we've done now is a few different things to look out for when you're modeling uh, and some things you can try and make sure that you you don't get wrong so for example the first thing we're going to have a look at is the poly count and just to re uh, just to reiterate the poly count you want it less than 30k but for what we've got here i mean there's currently no windows no doors there's no interior you know 5k is not too bad it's quite a big building uh, when you think of it through sheer size when these windows are about two meters wide it is quite a big building i mean you could easily get a plane in each of these hangars the other thing you want to look at is over here on the objects list you are probably going to want to name these something that you can remember so when you go into object builder these names will show up on the list as well and you won't have to go through and select them all and rename them there so once you've got it here you can obviously do that so for example here i can hover over it it says hangar modules i can hover over this it's called the radar stand here we've got the doppler radar spelled incorrectly and you can just go through and you can rename them and it makes it a lot easier there are a few ways of reducing polys however for what we're doing you don't necessarily need it however one of the ways if you think your polys account is going to be really high what you could do is you could say click on an object and let's quickly go into shaded view by pressing one and going on to the points view we can hit alt uh, sorry control a and the way of checking whether the there are any like open faces which will cause errors or there are points that need to be connected we can simply go for wielding uh, and for example here I mean usually it would be something like 0 0.01 and we can hit enter but what we can see here is before 4496 and after 4496 so in actual fact it's not necessarily needed there's no need for more uh, there's no need to do this welding because it's not going to reduce the polys sometimes this allows you to connect points together for example the same way you did a target or we did a target world it it allows you to reduce your polys whilst also making sure the building on the model is correct. Let's just quickly go back onto polygon tool. Might as well render it out for now. Alright, so the other thing I want to talk about now is actually getting your building exported. And the way that we work on that um, in order to get it into 3ds Max. Um, and that's the main thing I want to show, but before I do that, I want to show a few other tools you can do so say for example you have you've made a doppler radar or you've made something you want to put on this model and you want it to be part of this building you can go to import and you can go to uh, import to make things that aren't a 3ds max file so say an obj file or an fbx file which we'll talk about for exporting or you can merge things so say for example as we go back to here i'm in another building and that has another radar stand and I want to copy it over if I go to file and merge oops file import merge and I find another model that I wish to copy when I double click on one I'm not sure what these will be because these are not the main ones so uh, let me find one let's go to car shop and if I click here you'll see there's a lot of different lists of different things that which you can change 
this is obviously a model as you can see it'll be in progress because of things like object 001 and you can see why it might be important to change it because now I can't currently tell what that is but for example if I click on door and click OK you'll see here it's imported a door as its own object which we can look at here over here it's been added to this object which we can remove and we can delete because we don't need it and there we go so obviously now we're going to move on to the exporting of the model and there's two different ways we can do this or two different types we can export as we've got an export here and the first one is an obj file and i'll show you what it looks like when you do that so we're just going to pop it on the desktop for now and we're going to call it um I'm just going to call it building obviously you'll give it a bit of a better name and we're going to click save and you'll notice that after a little bit of time it'll come up with this basically this is a window that kind of says what you want to export it as so for an armor 3 model we don't really want to optimize it they're already quite low poly and these most of these things here like normals and vertexes we haven't really focused on anyway so there's no need Presets, we don't really need to do any of these because we, we're not using any of these programs. However, the main thing we want to look at here is faces. Now, graphics cards usually work better with triangles. However, in regards to uh, armor, it's better to go for quads or polygons. So I recommend you go for quads. And then you can go ahead and click export. And you'll see here that it might have added a few polys but that shouldn't be uh, too bad and you'll see it's added it's added up to 5564 also the other one is an export and we want an fbx file which is the same we're going to call building and this time when we hit save it'll bring up a slightly different window where we have a lot more options that we can do and we can go through advanced options but a lot of this won't you won't actually need to change so we can go ahead and click OK and the plugin doesn't necessarily support lights but that's okay we can click OK again and that will have exported them uh, onto our desktop and you can go ahead and use those when we need to put them into Object Builder and I'll, when we come into putting them into Object Builder I'll explain more on those files and how they work so obviously now that's all we need to do with this model so I'm going to quickly click save and what I thought I'd do now is I thought I'd show you some of the other work I've been working on so that you might be able to have some ideas on you know certain things so for example the first thing uh, we're going to go and have a look at is going to be in my documents folder and I thought I'd just show you a few things so you can come up with a few ideas. Uh, let's see, where is it? Sometimes when you have so many folders, it starts to become difficult. Here it is. So the most recent thing I've been working on is quite a simple little office block However, the idea is it will be able to be put next to each other. We've got window frames here. Windows obviously there, a garage, and a bit of staring in there. Haven't done, haven't put the back on yet, but if we go ahead and remove the roof, you'll be able to see there is an inside set of flooring with barriers, stairs that you'll be able to walk up. And this area will be all open for where you can add cars few little bits of extruding around here in setting that was the main two tools I've used the main thing that I've uh, the reference image has a lot of like uh, chamfering and a lot of extrusion a lot of uh, uh, you know a lot of little bumps on here like in a um, like on a corrugated uh, uh, shipping container uh, so something a bit like that, we'll, but we will add those in normal maps and there's something we'll explain in future. So, you know, being able to show you a few of these, you might be able to go off and uh, make your own ideas on what you wanted to make. And the other thing I'll show you here is 
this and it is in a few different pieces however you can see here how we've added a few different parts that can be moved together a backwards garage area and what the front would look like or the middle a little shop area with a door and same over here and maybe a connection piece and the idea for this one is you'd be able to uh, put them all together exactly how you want to make a strip mall is uh, quite cool all right guys uh, so sorry as I say um, that this will be the end of this series like I say it, this is not the end of me doing modeling tutorials this is not the end of me showing you how to config them into game however they will just be under other series um, that will be a bit more tailored to certain things so they might be tailored to making a specific model or configuring and I don't want to just have one series that's videos and videos and videos and videos long um, so I thought I'd just leave it as this so thank you ever so much for watching guys hope you enjoyed if you have enjoyed this series then please obviously hit the like button and um, tell your friends because they might find it as useful as you did also you can comment you know what exactly would you want to see if I did a modeling tutorial again there are some things I'm a lot better at I'm a lot lot better at building than I am at cars however I will be able to show you the basics of how it's done make a basic vehicle that we can put in game uh, as best as we can like I say any questions you have always uh, as always you can put them down in my uh, in the comment section below this video and uh, I will be sure to get back to them as best as I can. So thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the series and uh, look out for the rest of them. And uh, it's me.